Hi Capricorns! Welcome in you guys and happy birthday, happy new year, wishing you all many beautiful blessings. This is going to be your general reading. My name is Elena and welcome in to Searchlight Tarot or welcome back. Uh, I'm going to get some cards right now and if it sounds like your current energies, this is your reading. I feel there's a lot of beautiful energies going on around you right now, Capricorn, that is unleashing a new part of you for your own happiness with love. I have the door to romance and a lot of new doors opening for adjacent possibilities. I have been looking at the energies. You're my third earth sign today, and it's just been amazing how the energies are shifting. The retrograde is over, you guys. It's fast forward, movement ahead. We're in a new year, and new beginnings are before everybody. This is going to be good for all placements, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus. We're going to get started right now. Current energies. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading, Capricorns. For the sign of Capricorn Spirit Guides, thank you. What would you like to show me? Current energies for Capricorns. This reading is for, thank you. Strongest current energies for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Current energies for Capricorns. This reading is for, please, handpicked for you. What would you like to show me? Underneath the deck is I have rest and rejuvenation and I have the world. Chapters are over and new cycles begin. If you've been feeling lately like you're just a little tired, more than usual, perhaps you're laying down your heart and your mind, Spirit is saying it's because you're about to start a lot of new chapters in your life, which is beautiful. I have the heart chakra. You guys, there's something coming in for you that's going to open up new opportunities for your happiness. And then they have happy family. It's happiness. Happiness with love. There's a beautiful energy around you right now for new beginnings. First card on my left is attachments. And then I have hostilities. Spirit guides is telling me for you, it's time for you to let go of certain energies that you've been holding on to. You know, attachment is about realizing that our own energy sometimes block beautiful things from coming in spirit guides want me to, for you to look at something look how the entity is looking at something with a light a new way of looking at something i saw the thinking man pop out so something in your life is shifting your viewpoint on something and i feel it's about the attachments you've been holding on to where there's been hostilities i feel you're starting to let go of energies because the mercury retrograde was a rough one for everybody but you and sagittarius got hit very hard and I feel that right now spirit guides are telling me to tell you that if you've been feeling a little tired lately, Capricorns, it's because new chapters are opening, new doors are opening around you. Let's keep going. I have the third chakra, Archangel Jamul. This is about being true to thyself, your sacred, your solar plexus chakra. But this is about holding on to your own gut instincts with something. It's a big energy of you just coming into this inner knowing, this inner you just know something. I have the angel of balance. My spirit guides are telling me to tell you right now, Capricorns, find balance with something about being true to thyself and your own gut instincts. There's a new chapter opening up and it's towards your ultimate happiness. The last card they gave me is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, and that is your third eye. They want you to see something in a new way. They want you to go after something with a new truth. They want you to envision what it is that you want. Because underneath the deck is I then have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and that's the throat. Like I feel everything around you is about your own truth, your own vision, to start new chapters of your happiness. I'm only saying that because you have happy family, meaning that old cycles are over. Let go of attachments that have been creating hostile energies around you. It's time for new chapters to begin and it's all about your own truth, your own vision, and your own happiness. I feel my spirit guides are telling me to hold on to something you feel sacred to yourself with. Find balance in your life at the moment. If you've been feeling a little weary, a little tired, spirit guides are only telling me it's because you're, you're, you're shifting from an old cycle. You're shifting into new beginnings. The world is all about new chapters are about to begin. It's all around you right now. Spirit is saying, let go of attachments that aren't serving you anymore. Look at something in a new light. See something with a new truth. Because what's coming in for you guys, I'm just letting you know, here they are, the world. It's the last major arcana telling me old cycles are over, you guys. And here comes your new chapters to your ultimate happiness. Look at something. 
with a new truth. Look at the vision that you want in life and stay true to thyself, the throat chakra. Everything is coming together for you in the community of love, the tree of love and life, and it's leading you to your cornucopia, the things you want, your dreams, your wishes, your desires. I feel there's just a big energy around you right now for change. Stop holding on to hostile energies, let it go and be open to something that you truly want with a vision around you right now and watch what unfolds a lot of happiness i'm going to look at what's coming in for you i feel that spirit guides are saying stop holding on to anything that you feel has been hostile towards you or you feel that it's just been a bad energy let it go because new chapters want to begin i'm looking at your recent past now my beautiful birthday capricorns your recent past, our message is there. We always must look at a little bit at our recent past to understand why these are here. I feel you went through something of a lot of healing. You had to find the will and determination to move forward with things in your life. You had to tap into an inner strength, an inner wisdom about what was right, what has been wrong. King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and then looking at something in a new way, the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is about a new vision, a new truth, a different way of looking at something but the five of pentacles is something that's been leaving you feeling in a place of isolation a place of feeling shut out but you had to learn something about your own integrity your own truth it's all the ways those popped out you guys i'm gonna move my incense it's just low and right at me all right let's look now i am going to put those back in i'll shuffle recent past strongest for the sign of capricorn for messages then I'll look at what's coming in for you because what I feel, fast change to new happy beginnings and just things coming together with the people you want in your life with love. Spirit guides, recent past for Capricorns. What do I need to see, please, for messages for Capricorns? Recent past, please. Thank you. Anything else I need to see? Capricorns, recent past. Thank you. Messages for Capricorn. Who's the flipper? That's coming into your current. Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is telling me that there were good things flying in at you. And sometimes when the Eight of Wands is coming at us, we don't, real, we don't realize it's actually blessings. Underneath the deck is the Knight of Air. You had to go after something with a new viewpoint. You, had, you were on a mission of finding the truth out about things. I feel that there are things flying at you to push you towards new truths, new knowledge, more knowledge about everything in life that you wanted to connect to with love. And you had a big energy about commitment behind you, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is telling me that whatever you've been through recently behind you, Capricorns, you had to find commitment. You had to find faith. You had to find an energy of tradition to knowing you were going to get to the top. All right. I do believe I had a flyer. Yeah, I did. Pardon me for just a second. Sometimes these cards fly, you guys, and they just, they take off. I'm sorry. I can't see it because it's upside down. Pardon me, Capricorn. Sorry. Okay. Six of swords to my left. The chariot is sideways. The chariot is all about will and determination and intuition, but it was sideways. The six of swords is telling me that you didn't trust your own intuition. You knew you had to go forward. You knew you had to maneuver around obstacles because I feel all you really wanted in your life was peace. There was something you had to find out about. It was your own will and determination to go after something towards the light at the end of the tunnel. I have the emperor. And then I have a lot of nighttime anxiety from the things that have been hidden from you. I feel the spirit guides are telling me that recently behind you, you had a lesson of your own will and determination and what you really wanted in life. And I feel that what happened recently behind you is you knew you had to take charge of situations that were creating nighttime ruminating. Something still bothered you. But I feel you came into the emperor power. You started to realize that it's time for me to take charge of the things in life that I want to change. And I feel the spirit guides are telling me that right now, everything may seem a little bit hidden from you, the moon, but it's coming into your current energies. And I feel the spirit guides are telling me, stay in your own truth, have your own vision, listen to your heart, stay committed and watch what unfolds in the next few weeks. You guys, everything around you right now is connecting 
this is the community card is the tree of love and life it's the people that you're feeling happiness with the people you love and they're leading you to a place where you want to be your dreams and wishes everything is coming together for you to lead you to a place where you're going to be very happy and spirit guides are telling me to tell you that new chapters are all around you and sometimes when we're headed towards new chapters it's a little bit of a fog because it's a transition so spirit guides are just telling me for you to be true to thyself, have the patience, find balance, and watch what is about to be unleashed. That's what I feel. It's just a lot of happiness, a lot of new beginnings. I feel that things are just going to start moving in the right direction. You guys, I'm going to do the Shaman's Dream Oracle for your incoming. If you've been going through a little bit of like feeling like something's change around you, uh, you've been in a little bit of a fog. Spirit guides are telling me the people are coming together in your life to push you towards somewhere where you want to be. A lot of happiness towards something you truly want with your dreams and wishes and desires. In the hand, an adaptability in the winter's dream gestation period. Telling me that everything is moving forward in the right direction, but you need to let go and trust in something. Know that in the incoming energies, you're exactly where you need to be. They want you to adapt and learn to trust. In the hand is all about letting go and trusting in something, knowing that everything is aligning for you for your own happiness. Spirit guides, strongest incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns in the next few weeks. What do you want to show me so I can tell Capricorns? Strongest incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. What do I need to see, please, for the sign of Capricorn's incoming energies? Thank you. You got three beautiful cards. Underneath the deck is your heart, the beloved, the radical acceptance. They want you to balance something, and they want you to start to put out what you want. The netcaster is telling me that your preparations will come into fruition. But first, you must come back to your authentic self, meaning you're coming back to your true core, the many mass. Something in your life is being ripped off so new beginnings can begin. The netcaster, your preparations, whatever it is that you truly want in life, will come into fruition. But you must come back to your authentic self. Spirit is saying, whatever you've been carrying around that hasn't been your true core, it's coming off. Spirit wants me to tell you to really tap into something with your heart, Capricorns, and find balance with it. Because new beginnings are here. I haven't even looked at the cards yet, but I just feel it. Oh my God, I can't even believe. I heard look, and I'm, I looked, and there they are. Me Talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit with moon maiden new beginnings. And the eye of the eagle. Spirit is saying new beginnings are all here, Capricorns, in the next few weeks. You need to repair yourself and be ready for new beginnings, new things. You're coming back to your authentic self. What you put out there, you're going to pull in. Your preparations for the, your new beginnings, whatever it is in life, whatever you want, a new you. Uh, putting more work into your job to be a bigger success. This is going to be a beautiful year for you. Having the right people around you for love and happiness. It's all coming into fruition. All right. Who do I want to take? I see. Okay, I have the overflow, overwhelm and plenty. They gave me the fool's embrace, transmuting pain. And then I have lost in space, needing direction. This is the message, you guys, for your incoming energies. Spirit is telling me to tell you to let go of anything that has hurt you. It's time for you to find things to let go of any type of pain you've been through. You have the overflow, overwhelm and plenty, telling me that a lot of love is coming your way. A lot of beauty is coming your way. But if you feel that you need direction, if you feel a little lost, Spirit Guides only want me to remind you that it's the moon made new beginnings. New beginnings are here. When we go into new chapters, new beginnings, sometimes we feel a little out of sorts. Spirit wants you to come back into an energy of you, repairing you, feeling whole again. Balance everything. Tap into what it is you truly want with your heart. It's time for you to come back to your true core. Whether you're ready or not, you're coming back to your true spirit. And the netcaster. I want you to look at the colors, you guys. Your preparations are coming into fruition. And everything is leading in the right direction for new happy beginnings with people. You're going to feel more connected to new people. People you love are coming together. 
There's something around you right now that's leading you to your wishes, dreams, and desires. And I feel the Spirit Guide is telling me for you to hold on, sit down, and get ready for massive change for new beginnings. They're going to be beautiful beginnings. You're coming back to your authentic self. When we are our authentic self, we attract nothing but happiness and abundance. You guys, this is beautiful. Your heart is just going to be alive. You're coming back to your true core and new beginnings begin. In the next few weeks, you're just going to feel like this energy of, I can do whatever I want to do. I can create whatever I want to create. And everything you put out there, your preparations will come into fruition. We're just saying, all you have to do is believe, prepare, put it out there. Put the work into what you want to create and everything is yours. Messages. Okay. High Priestess, Ten of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. The Hierophant is about commitment, faith, tradition. The High Priestess is telling me, trust your own inner gut. Trust an inner knowing. It's going to lead you into the right direction of commitment, faith, getting to the top. It's time for you to lay down the weights you've been carrying around from the past. Tens are completions. Get ready for new journeys, new beginnings. Messages about this reading today for my beautiful Capricorns. If you can tell Capricorns anything about this reading, what do you want to tell the sign of Capricorns? Messages today. Thank you for the sign of Capricorns. What messages do you have for the sign of Capricorns? Stay in your truth, the king of swords, truth, honor, integrity, the visionary. Oof. You guys, everything's coming together for you with love, the three of cups. The three of cups is rejoice, celebration, good times. But my spirit guides want me to tell you, you need to stay in your truth about something. It's the only card that's up. The king of swords is the visionary, the king of honor, truth, integrity, the king that does not sway. What you are attracting is everything of love. Spirit guides want me to tell you there's beautiful things flying in at you. Stop holding on to old attachments that aren't serving you anymore. That's all I'm going to say. Seven of Swords. A card of strategy, deceit, betrayal, lies. Hold on, you guys. There's a message here. Two of Wands. It's time for you to leave those energies and move forward. The Seven of Swords sometimes can be an energy of our own deceit, our own betrayal, our own lies, of thinking that nothing will change. But they want you to use some strategy because it's time for you to move forward. It's the Two of Wands. It's sideways. The message is, it's time for you to stay in your own truth, your own integrity. You have a sword in your hand. Do not sway. The people that you are attracting are all the right connections. It's time for you to leave situations in your life that have deceived you. You are handed the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Truth, the Ace of Clarity, a new vision. This is about a victory and success. Stop holding on too tight to something because change is here. You know, sometimes when we hold on too tight to what we want or we hold on too tight to resentment, the wheel cannot move. Spirit guides are telling me you have an Ace of Swords in your hand, Capricorns. It's the ace of a new vision, a new truth, a new clarity, victory and success. Stop holding on to anything that you feel blocked from. Let it go. So this wheel can move in your favor. The wheel of fortune is telling me something in the next few weeks wants to change and play out in your favor. Everything is moving now. The Mercury retrograde is gone. Everything is aligning for you for your happiness. Last card they gave me is get ready Capricorns. I got to pitch cups. This is new love, you guys. New creativity, new excitement with love, new beginnings with love, feeling like a child again. Spirit guides are telling me to stop holding on to old attachments that have betrayed you, deceived you. They want you to move forward. Stop staring at a globe. They want you to take a step forward. They want you to know that you have the Ace of Swords in your hand for victory and success. Everything in your life is aligning for change, beautiful change. The Wheel of Fortune is about something aligning for you to play out in your favor. You're just going to have this new love energy around you, new eager love energy. And I feel you're attracting all the right people. I feel the message they're trying to tell me is hold on to your own truth. Hold on to your own integrity. Do not let other people sway you because everything's coming together for you in the tree of love and life. 
Stop allowing other energies to block you. Stop allowing something that perhaps you feel somebody's got away with something or somebody's lied to you. Stop holding on to it. Spirit guides tell, are telling me it's time for you to move forward, for you to let it go. You have a new ace in your sword. Your wheel's about to spin in the right direction. And here comes new opportunities of love. Everything is coming together for you. Everything in life is coming together for you with love. Love energy. Love energy. Love energy. I feel Spirit Guides is saying the incoming energies is for massive change in your life. Let go and let unfold what is supposed to unfold and be open to everything with your heart and stay in your truth and integrity and be the visionary of what it is you truly want in life. Beautiful reading today for my beautiful Capricorns. Happy birthday. You guys, it was a beautiful reading for you. There were big messages in there for you. Stay true to the sacred self. Have the commitment, have the faith. It's leading you guys in, in the right direction. I feel that spirit guides are telling me all you have to do is believe. Underneath the deck, I have new beginnings, angel cards. I'm going to get a few angel cards for you now. And then I'll roll into love crossing if you've been dealing with someone. I'm getting two to three cards for you. For my Capricorns. This is never a coincidence because I don't believe in them anyway. This is what spirit guides want to say to you from the angel cards. For Capricorns, please. For my birthday Capricorns. New beginnings are here. Get ready for massive change. Spirit guides, messages for my beautiful Capricorns today. What would you like to tell the sign of Capricorns? Two more cards, please. Thank you. Any messages today? For the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. That's all I'm taking, you guys. I had that look on my face because you know how we finished off with the two of wands sideways? They gave you the two of Gabriel. It's the same energy. It's not a coincidence. The message there for you. Now, pardon me. I'm going to put my readers on. You can do anything right now, Capricorns. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. All the right people. Go after what you want. And then they gave you the Ace of Michael. You guys have the Ace of Swords. It's right here. It's the same energy. I know I get very passionate during these readings. I can't help it. The Ace of Michael, Ace of Swords. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. I feel that Spirit is saying, speak your truth, have your truth, watch what unfolds. It's all going to play out in your favor. First card to my left is they gave you the King of Ariel. Angel Ariel, beautiful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using your resources wisely. You guys, this is going to be a very successful year for you. I don't know whether you know it or not, but you are one of the top signs for financial success this year. And something is playing out in your favor. All the right people are coming your way. I'm just telling you. I saw the two of Gabriel sideways and you guys got the two of Gabriel. The two of wands is two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Come on, you guys. It's right here. Tell me it's time for you to move forward with something you want, something you want to go after in life. You're going to attract all the right people. The last card they gave you. Card number 12, perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight, and then dare to be different. Oh, Capricorns. <laughs> it looks like you're going somewhere and you're going towards everything of success. Spirit guides want me to tell you to go after it, move forward, make decisions from your heart, make bold and ambitious choices. Pause for reflection and then dare to be different. Everything is coming together for you guys. You know, I just feel that spirit guides are telling me, stay committed, have the faith. Everything wants to come together for you for success. I just feel that this new chapter of yours is going to be quite a rambunctious one of financial success, happiness, things you truly want in life. And spirit guides are telling me to tell you to get ready. New chapters are here. It's going to happen fast. Here comes the wheel of fortune and that's fast change in your favor. 
Happy birthday, you guys. Many blessings. I'm rolling into love now. I hope my reading helped you today in some way. Wishing you all much love and light. If you are in a harmonious relationship or just not dealing with anyone at the moment, those are not going to be your love crossing. So have a beautiful day, an amazing next few weeks. Expect fast change. It's going to happen. It's pushing you in the right direction. And watch all the right people come your way. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. For those beautiful Capricorns out there dealing with somebody, I'm going to get one deck. Who do I want to use uh, today? A light seer, so I'm going over here. These are the strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your person. Some of these energies can be moved around. I just get the strongest and what I feel. Judgment. That's a big energy. And it's just telling me this person is really trying to release the things in their life. They're trying to have a compassionate review of letting something go. So something new can be rebirthed. Seven of Pentacles, they want to start to put more work into something with you, Capricorns. They're starting to see something with a new truth, and they're kind of trying to offer you a page of Pentacles, meaning a peace offering, a little bit at a time. I feel whatever you've been dealing with feels you two see something with truth. You two have a, a connection, a beautiful connection. They want to balance the scales. Got the King and Queen of Swords. That's a divine counterpart. I feel there's somebody here who start, is releasing so many things in their life. Perhaps they've made some bad choices. Perhaps they've done some things in their life that they're having remorse for. I feel they're really trying to get in this energy right now of releasing everything with love for a new solid beginning with you. They feel you two are, are divine counterparts. Spirit guides love crossing. My Capricorns have been dealing with. Tell me a little bit about their energies, please. I see. What would you like to tell me about love crossing for the sign of Capricorns? Thank you. Strongest love crossing a Capricorns have been dealing with. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Love crossing for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, at least I know. The Fool. The Knight of Wands. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards you, Capricorns. Four of Wands, the card of a reunion. Four of Wands, celebratory good times. God, somebody loves you a lot. The King of Cups. Oh, that's a big king. Someone's coming in to talk to you, Capricorns. They're tired of having nighttime anxiety about something. They're going to try to get something new started with you because you're truly their wish. Just saying what the cards are saying. That night of air is fast. Somebody who wants to talk to you about a new beginning. Oh, I see why. I got big Leo energy, strength and courage. And I have somebody who's in judgment mode in their current energies. This person is really trying to release the things in their life I feel they have remorse for. They're trying to do a compassionate review of everything. They have the strength and courage. They're letting everything go now. They want new beginnings with you, Capricorns. Six of Wands is sideways telling me this person is very unsure if they're going to have a victory with you. But I do have the Three of Cups, and that's a card of a reunion. It could be third party, but I just don't like to go there. It could be other energies, but this person feels that there's something about a victory with you that's being blocked. I'm not going to go. I'm not going there. I have the Page Cups, and then I have the Page of Swords. Whoever you have been dealing with has been thinking about you left and right. They cannot get you out of their head. They're trying to come up with a solution to something because this Page of Cups is all over the place. Well, what if I offer my Capricorn a diamond ring? Well, okay, well, maybe this cup of love is better. I don't know which one Capricorn is going to take. They're all over the place with their energy. They can't stop thinking about you. If I had to speculate on this by the way I feel, I feel this person has all this eager young energy about getting something new started with you. I feel whatever you've been dealing with is tired of ruminating about something that's gone wrong. You are their wish fulfillment, two nines. Excuse me. Reunion. Three of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoever you've been dealing with is very choked up right now. They don't know how to get a victory with you. I, you guys, my throat just started like just, and I feel these energies. It's a person who's really having a hard time letting go of something. They are. They, they want forgiveness. They want another opportunity of love with you. 
If this is someone who did you dirty, well, I, I don't know. You know what to do. You're not stupid. You're smart. You're my moon. I know you Capricorns. If this is somebody that you still love, they want to come back. They want it. They want to try to get their foot in the door. I feel this person is living in some place of, of releasing everything they've been through with you. They want a new opportunity. Now I'm looking at their intentions because you know that's going to be interesting. I think this person's coming in and they're going to be coming in fast. Here comes the Empress. Here comes the Six of Swords and here comes Temperance. I don't know who's under these decks. Here comes the Two of Cups, you guys. It's someone who wants to try to make something work with you. I'm going to shuffle. We'll put them all back in. Here comes Scorpio. Transformation. They're just fearing something here. They're afraid that you're not going to accept their cup of love. They want to transform. They want to change something with you. They want to come out of a dark night of the soul. But they're afraid you're not going to accept their cup of love. I don't know what they did. I don't know. Maybe Capricorn. I don't know. Maybe it's reversed. I don't know. But I feel somebody here wants to release and start something new with you. Love crossing intentions towards Capricorns. Let's see. Strongest next few weeks. Love intentions towards Capricorns. Strongest. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Oh. Strongest love crossing intentions. Yep. Towards the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you, spirit guides. I see these cards. Four of Pentacles, and here comes the Knight of Love, and the person wants to speak some truths with you. The Four of Pentacles is Earth energy. It's somebody who's holding on tight to something, or they feel that you are being resentful towards them, or they're being resentful for, towards you. But this person is, I feel like they're weary. Now, I haven't seen all the cards, but I just have a funny feeling. Like, the, the Four of Pentacles is someone who's, who's holding on to something out of stinginess, but you see... I got the knight of love. It's a very brave knight. This person can't stop the way they feel about you. They're coming in with their cup of love, Capricorns. They're, I'm going to tell you right now, they're breaking the barrier. They're coming in with a cup of love for you. They want to speak some truths. They want to tell you the truth. They want to be, have open, honest communication. They're tired of feeling completely shut out. They want to lay down something with you, Capricorns. It's the Four of Swords. They want something to go. To, it's like this is a card of rest, rejuvenation, but I feel this person wants to lay down their heart and their mind. They want to stop something between the two of you, a fight. They want to, they want to stop the blockages that are there. I got my Capricorns, and I got the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to invest in something here with you. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't get you out of their energy. Somebody wants to change something with you. Transformation with the Four of Cups. They're tired of someone here being resistant to offering their love. Capricorns. I'm not saying you're stubborn, but I know you are. Two of Pentacles, someone who is trying to juggle something in the next few weeks. In other words, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? They're going to because here comes the Queen of Cups. You guys, the Queen of Cups is all about forgiveness, love. This person wants to break the barrier so bad, nothing is going to stop them. I have the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, but this is a king that's very smart financially, but the king is also very structured, solid, and committed to being a success because whoever you've been dealing with is tired of being down a rabbit hole of sadness. My personal opinion, I'm going to say they're coming back in to mend something with you. I feel what they want is their ultimate stability with you. I just feel whatever you've been dealing with is just tired of being at a place of fear. They're going to come back in and trust their intuition. They're going to try to speak to you about something. They're tired of being wrapped up in their head with their own thoughts. They're coming in with their intuition. They still have hope in that cup of love, and it's with my Capricorns. I'm telling you, Capricorns, someone's coming in with their cup of love. They don't want to be shut out anymore. You know, the retrograde is over, and I think, you know, we all get caught in a fog. We all get caught in fe everything feeling like it's going backwards. This person is starting to see the light. They want to reverse something new with you. They're trying to release something here. Shame, regret, remorse. They're hoping that you'll be open to something here with love. They're coming in. They, they want your forgiveness for something, or they want you to forgive them, or you vice versa, but they're just tired of something being blocked with their Capricorns. I'm telling you, Capricorns, they're trying to reverse something new with you. You're right here in their energies. 
All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here because energy shift like the wind. I just feel this person is so tired of feeling shut out. They want to reconnect with you with love. They're coming in. This is a brave night. It's not stopping them. They got a cup of love. They're coming in to give you. They want to talk to you. They're coming in. They're going to come in and make an effort to try to get you that cup of love. What you do with it is up to you. Because you have the card of people who share your vision. So it's up to you. You know, I always tell people if two people love each other, they both work on it, anything can happen. Thank you for viewing me today, my beautiful birthday Capricorns. <laughs> Have a beautiful Sunday, an amazing next few weeks. I hope this reading helped you today. Love and light to everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.